In my project, I'm going to talk about these four topics. Frame, vantage point, focus, and lighting. The frame, uh, the photo is actively framed, and the photographer was very careful when choosing the specific framing that he used for the photograph. Uh, this is because he purposely chose what to have in the frame of the picture and what he chose to leave out. Uh, he concentrated on including just the two people here, which are a man and a young girl. The subjects totally fill the entire photograph, both horizontally and vertically. Uh, the man seems to be seated while the girl is slightly behind the man and leaning over his left shoulder. The photo concentrates on their upper bodies, including their heads, torsos, and arms, with their lower bodies uh, deliberately left out for de-emphasis. Um, there's nothing included within the frame other than a flat surface in the background. Um, this is probably a, a solid wall. Um, the next topic is vantage point. Since the subjects are so tightly framed, I think the subjects are closely positioned to the camera. Um, the distance between the subjects and the photographer is very short. The angle of view of the photographer is that of being directly in front of the two subjects. The perspective of the photograph is a straight-on view where the photographer is on the same level. The perspective draws our attention directly to these two subjects and this creates an intimate approach and we have a connection with them because of the closeness in, in proximity. Uh, the next topic is focus. Um, there's uh, a shallow depth of field um, in this photograph. The photographer was uh, trying to compress the three dimensions of the scene into two. Um, the photo does seem to have a, a shallow depth of field, but the um, framing coincides with the focus rather co coincides with the framing, which is real tight. The um, background seems to be flat and that would be on a different plane and the um, areas like here and her dress and the forearm and these lower areas here are um, slightly softer in focus. Um, the main area that is in focus is um, up here, the heads and the hands. Um, the girls lower arm here and the back and bottom of the dress are soft focus and the main uh, focal point is um, the the faces and um, the areas where the hands come together. Um, the hands are clasped where the girl's hand is on top of the man's and her hand partially covers his. Um, this seems to me like the area that's being emphasized because of the lighting, which will be my next topic. Um, so the lighting, I would describe the lighting as being somewhat diffused. Um, it seems to be a, a soft light. Um, this is because there seems to be some highlights on the subject's hands and on the front of the girl's dress in this area. Um, but there are also some areas of shadow. Um, the source of the light appears to be coming from the left front area of the subjects and it's off to the left portion of the photograph. The light is coming toward and across to the right portion of the photograph. This is because the position of the shadows on the subjects. Um, their hands here are casting a shadow on the man's upper chest area here and um, there's a shadow on the mid chest here um, that's coming from the, the coat sleeve. Um, there's another shadow to the right of his arm down here in his lap area and that's being cast from the coat sleeve. The light is able to reveal um, the details of the clothing of the subjects um, here and also the um, uh, textures of the material in the clothing. Uh, the light also illuminates the details in their facial features and uh, their hair very clearly, in, like in these areas. Um, there doesn't seem to be another area, oh, there does seem to be another area of shadow in the far left 
um, area of the photograph. The upper part of the man's sleeve of the coat is in a shadow, and there's a shadow in the background area here, uh, kind of behind him. Uh, the light doesn't seem to be hiding anything of what is depicted in the scene. The light is directing the viewer's eyes specifically to the hands of the subjects. Um, this is because they are the brightest objects in the photograph and they catch your attention and draw your attention right away to that area.